Hello, good evening. Oh no, that was not better. Hello, anyone out there? Mark. Hello and welcome to the Popcorn Junkies area of our YouTube channel where we review and react to all the really talked about I don't struggle movies, with doing that. documentaries and TV series. So you're struggling today, let me just take it. It's because of you. And today, rather excited about what we have to um, react to. It's falling because apart. Because it is the Meghan Markle and Harry not a reality show documentary series. Can I just share with you what Piers Morgan has said about it? He has described it as vomit-inducing content by repulsive hypocrites. Oh my God, he's so extreme. Very strong language. I mean, he's got a really particular problem. He really has. With these two. He, I, think, I don't even know why we're quoting him. I think he's revealing that he's deeply unhappy. a deep mental health crisis about Meghan and Harry. I think he's unhappy. I think he's really unhappy. I don't think you really attack people like that. No. Unless you're unhappy. No, I agree. I mean, it's really odd. So anyway, let's have a look. So this is it. Harry and Meghan. Uh, Harry, Meghan, the official teaser from Netflix. When is it going to be released? Nobody knows. Why did you want to make this documentary? sees what's happening behind the closed doors. I had to do everything I could to protect my family. When the stakes are this high, does it make more sense to hear our story from us? going to be absolutely savaged well i wasn't thinking about that i was thinking about what i mean their intention there is to put the shits up everybody at the royal family the royal family did you see the shot of kate the only shot of harry and kate was angry and looking of william and kate yeah did you, the fury and tight eyedness i mean i have so rarely seen kate look like that and they've probably found the one time she has and they're suggesting oh, we also know they're that suggesting it's her looking at her that's very powerful editing and suggestive editing. I want they would have had to have approved that trailer. No. They obviously haven't. No. Harry and Meghan. No. Oh, Harry and Meghan. Sorry, I thought yeah. you had William and Thingy about no, no, the Harry footage. Harry and Meghan have approved that trailer. Course, well, and that trailer is very, very explosive. It's very explosive. Shots of her with her head in her hands, crying. crying. But the shot of Harry and uh, uh, William and Kate angry staring out that for me is the standout shot in the whole thing i got goosebumps not because necessarily I did as it starts yeah. i thought it was a really good trailer it's an excellent beautiful trailer. photographs they both look gorgeous they look happy they yeah. look in love they look because i've always felt beautiful images i've said this right from the beginning i've always felt that he was punching a bit above his weight mm. in that i think harry is a very sweet simple person boy mm. yeah I think he's. I don't mean that in a rude way. I just mean simply. You no, know, I just think he's. Yeah, he's. He's. He's got his eyes, simple pleasures. I think she's very. I think she's older and smarter and wiser in the way often that older women. And I've always thought I don't see sexual chemistry between them. Really, I've always said that right from the beginning. Wow. I just thought I don't see the sex thing. I think like I always feel like. They haven't had sex. No, they've had sex. Well, but I, I know feel that. Like, no, I feel like that she, I don't feel like a real <sighs> from her. Maybe that's because he's Do so you much from younger. William and Kate? Do you feel like... Uh, yes, and definitely at the beginning. But I saw that there. I saw like a real connection between them. The beautiful photos. They looked really in love. They looked like they were very, you know, because you see a lot of hand holding, but I've never felt an electricity. I've seen affection, I've seen like a real caring for each other, but I've just never felt electricity when I've seen them. But to be but honest, in those photos and the way it was edited so quickly, can I, just say, but, I thought, yes, there was. But to be honest with you, there is zero electricity between any royal I've ever seen on this side oh, of the Oh, not true. When? Loads between Charles and Camilla. 
Oh, and well, Charles and Camilla. Absolutely fizzing with it. Yeah, I know. But and, Har- and William and William Kate. William and Kate aren't. No, but once, as William got older and he had to be the more serious about to be king, but there is a lot between them. Their wedding was so romantic. It was well, so hot. Yeah. We've seen all those photos of them dancing and sweating at university. You knew exactly what they were going to do. They were going to go get a bag of chips and then go back to each other's. You're talking about a future king of England. No, I know, but you saw that. But you don't see... I, I didn't okay. feel that in them, and I felt it here. Uh, what I would just say is, if you had no knowledge of Meghan and Harry, and, and who doesn't, I mean, everyone does on the planet, and you came to that trailer cold, I think it was a highly efficient and effective trailer, gave me goosebumps, but the goosebumps yeah, turned goosebumps. into goosebumps of fear for them, because I think, yes, they would have been able to sign off on that, but no, they wouldn't have been able to, Netflix would have had the final say. So if Netflix have wanted to ratchet up the sense of potential conflict, which, let's face it, like with his biography, his autobiography, all the, the, the publishers, the broadcasters, they all want people to come to get that information they haven't had before. Mm, but you have to be careful because if you get people to come and then in the first episode they're not given anything, they turn away. But maybe they will. But Maybe they will give it. Maybe they're going to say it. I just, I just think you shouldn't go on telly and just say things about your family. Because I think, I think it never gets you anywhere. It's like, I've said this before, I think... I understand why Harry has the need to say all this stuff, but I think in the dead of night, he will miss, because we all need our families, you know, and to cut off your entire family. I mean, William and Kate are going out to the States, so no plans to see each other. Mm. It's so sad, isn't it? Do you think he's fallen into the trap of thinking he needs to overprotect Meghan more than he needs to? Do you know what I mean? Has he fallen into I that? I would understand that. I mean, how can we know that? How thing? can we know? But what mm. I would say is I would completely understand that with the way that yeah, his yeah. mother was treated and sadly mm. died in the end and you know earlier on this week there was um one of her close protection megan's close pr- close protection officers had said that the threats were very real towards yeah. her and that would have petrified both of them here's the question will you watch it yes absolutely oh you will yeah so will i have a gossip um, yeah yeah absolutely like the oprah interview yeah i'm, I'm definitely going to watch it too yes yeah, uh, yeah. i hope I think I it's heard gonna... they're a bit cleverer than with the Oprah infra, in, interview. Uh, interview because the problem with that was because there was zero challenging of any kind, nobody felt they got the real story. Oh, I know, I know, but that is the problem. But I think Piers Morgan is hammering this for that. This is their story. Yeah. This is going to be from their side. This is not going to have any objectivity. There's not yeah. going to be an interviewer sitting there saying to them, pressing them, challenging them. But or I think if like you that. don't have the courage to let other people tell a bit of their side of the story, then that means that it's very difficult for people to believe your side of the story. Because just because something is your truth doesn't mean it is the the truth. truth, Because everybody has a truth. And I mean, you know, William is growing up in a um, environment where clearly there's some people of different generations that are going to have racist attitude, racist views. We've seen that only this Mm, week in them. mm. And all sorts of things. But that doesn't mean that everybody should be wiped out. And and William is dealing with all of this stuff Mm. now, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. And so I just think, I I feel Harry will regret that because they were very close for a very long time. I think this this looks like the final nail nail in the coffin. Well, who knows? We might all be surprised and there might be an olive branch at the end of it. Maybe, or there might just be an olive.